Hi guys, um, good morning. It is um, exactly 8.43 a.m. here in Nigeria. So, um, so let's look at what um, BTC is doing and um, what you guys sh should be expecting. So, um, so I'm going to be straightforward and um, I don't want to take too much time in explaining this. So let's start from the daily time frame here. So um, first thing first, I need to explain one or two things for you guys to understand what is really happening. Um, in some of my previous um, updates, I dropped um, a lot of um, signals talking about the levels. And some of those signals are pointing at um, um, support levels, and also I was paying close attention to um, the Ichimoku. So I'm going to make this um, very fast so that you guys will see what um, I'm expecting, what um, will likely play out. So always remember, everything I share here is not a financial advice. Always make sure you only risk what you can afford to lose. So um. So here again, um, we had this um, bearish um, divergence here, um, which actually um, brought price down. And um, you can see um, this move here. So, but apart from this, um, what we want to pay attention to is um, the levels to keep an eye on. So um, here we have um, this um, major level here, which I dropped on my signal group. So um, this. And um, um, was paying attention to the clues of um, this um, body of the candlestick here. Let me expand this very well. So I was paying attention to the clues of this candlestick here. So it's very important to understand how this works. And you can see that bounce here. But um, just because you've seen the bounce here doesn't mean that um, that is the bottom. No. So. Um, yeah, what is Ichimoku saying? This is Ichimoku, and um, you can see how Kijun has maintained that flat zone. Maintained that flat zone. So what is um, on the Kijun here is a red EME. You can see how it has maintained this. And um, the tank in which is the blue EME also went high. And you can see the bottom then, yeah totally flat now. So when you see the both of them are totally flat, it's, it is telling you um, no much momentum in the market. Um, you don't need to force yourself to trade, let things play out first. So um, now um, this is what I'm looking at, which is very important. So you can see what happened here. And um, I'm not really comparing this. I just wanna explain what, um, what um, edge to edge trade is all about. So you can see what happened here when price pushed down to this level, we got to this level pushed back up and um, we got a bearish um, TK cross to the downside and we got price closing inside the cloud, hit the lower cloud, which is flat cloud here, which is a single span B. So um, go to that level, um, all Ichimoku metrics also serve as um, support and resistance level. So um, it dropped to this level, held that level and continue moving back up. Why the upper cloud, before it broke the upper cloud inside the cloud, you can see how it maintained that level. So we'll likely see the same thing here. If the upper cloud, which is um, the single span B, doesn't hold price here, we'll likely see an edge to edge trade, an edge to edge trade. So um, for now, price is still um, above the cloud, which is um, positive. We might get that bounce here and continuation to the upside. So if we go down to lower time frame, um, so yeah, an edge to edge trade, it means um, when the body of the candlestick closes inside this cloud, there is high probability to test the lower um, cloud, which is flat here. Yeah, so um, let's go to the lower time frame. And I think there are a lot of um, nice setup there. 
So in the lower time frame, you can see um, this is happening. Let's go down a bit to 15 minutes time frame. So um, 15 minutes time frame is here. So um, let's get a shot about um, what, what is happening here. Now look at this flat, um, this flat support here. So I, I don't wanna be too, um, too fast about what um, would happen, but um, we're getting this um, down sloping support, down, uh, down sloping resistance rather, sorry about that, down sloping resistance here. So you can see um, this touch here. So one thing I want you guys to understand very well is this, just because you're seeing uh, this um, bottom, this bottom, and you see this down sloping support, um, it doesn't, this, this is quite all right. This is um, a descending triangle, which is bearish. But whenever you see any bullish bearish chart pattern, doesn't mean that um, if you see a bearish chart pattern, if, if it doesn't break to the downside, then it, it will just remain there. No, um, one thing about chart pattern is this, um, you need to wait for it to break out or break down. For this now, if price doesn't break towards the downside, there is high probability to push towards the upside. So what are the percentage of it um, going down? So we have like 60% um, of this pushing to the downside here after it must have broken to this support and we have 40% um, chances of it breaking to the upside. Now, um, you need to understand what would you see to confirm the breakout or the breakdown. If the body of the candlestick closes below this um, level of um, support and it closes here, then we'll get that push to the downside. Now, what, what is the interpretation of that um, close below this um, support. So it's it's like where all traders know that, okay, this level, this is where I should buy, this is where I should long. So if that level doesn't hold, it's like a psychological level where everybody knows this is where to buy and this is where to sell. So when price gets close to this downsloping um, resistance, traders will know that, okay, this is the point where I have to sell or this is the point where I have to short the market. But if it doesn't um, push back down and um, it closes above this down sloping um, so, um, resistance rather, we'll get a push to the upside. So for now, what I would um, um, prefer doing is to wait for this to play out first before I would decide if I'm to go long or to go short. Why, on the other hand, we have um, this, we have more or less like a double bottom here. So if we were to pay attention to the close of the candlestick body, uh, we have like a double bottom and a supply and demand zone. So when I say supply and demand zone, we have um, something like um, price ranging between these levels here. So you can see, um, how price is um, funny, difficult to break out and stay. So that's even between a um, price breaking out and um, coming back inside the zone and price breaking out to stay above that level. So price must break out, stay and continue before um, you know that, okay, that move will continue to push higher. So um, here, if um, this trend continues to push higher, I expect this to move to this level. Then after it gets to this level, we'll decide, we'll, we'll need to wait to see um, what um, um, indicator or metrics we can use to see if this will break out to the upside. So um, let's take a look at, okay, I think, um, okay, let's look at the weekly time frame. I don't like the weekly time frame. The weekly time frame is not good at all. So um, this is what I mean. We have, we'll see how this strong um, bearish type of You can see this, you can see that. And um, currently, currently this is 
a bearish and curving candlestick, which I want everyone to pay attention to. So we still have today is um, Wednesday, we have, still have Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and um, Sunday for this candlestick to close. So four days and 17 hours for this candlestick to close. So we need to um, and pay attention to what we do. If you want to trade, don't trade the higher time frame, or else you want a perfect setup. You can go down to 15 minutes time frame, look for nice setup, and um, um, take action on that immediately. And you don't need to over leverage at this point. You don't need to over leverage at this point. So, um, so I think that is just what I want to share with you guys. So let me look at. Um, let me look at another coin. So um, yes, I have I have um, Solana here, which um, I have um, this level here. Um, let's go to the time frame. So um, I, I pointed out this level again. So very important if you want to buy back and let's see the Ichimoku again. So um, you can see it's still um, above very, uh, way above the um, cloud here. So it's good. So let's say ETH, uh, ETH, I want to use FTX. So ETH here, good. So um, this is still way above the cloud. I don't like this drop. So um, this support should be good. And um, if possible, price should move edge to edge. Not gonna be good at all. Okay, so let's look at other coins again, and let me look at um, um, FTX. So, yeah, um, I don't want to waste too much time. Um, let me just look at Luna. Yeah, so you can see what I have been talking about. So you can see the um, cloud support here. So it's very important. Um, we'll maintain this support if we don't and price goes below this cloud, it's not gonna be good at all because you can see from um, here since um, August um, price has maintained its uh, move above the cloud. So for now, let's just Pay close attention to BTC because when BTC dumps, every other coin will follow. So um, support, um, cloud support will, will likely get um, more consolidation, um, more consolidation here. And um, if this doesn't hold, um, if this holds and this doesn't hold, we'll get that push to the downside. So please guys, don't rush into any trade. Take your time, understand the market before you take any trade. So that will be all for now. I would um, try my best to update this chat on my Signal Group. If you have not joined my Signal Group, please do well to check um, the link in the description below. Um, if you have any question, um, don't hesitate to ask me on Twitter or Telegram. Um, the link to um, contact me is still in the description below. So guys, happy trading and um, enjoy the rest of your day.